So my colleague, the late Paul Boyer, figured out how these motors worked uh, that each of us has in us. So using one molecule of ATP, the chemical fuel in us, they rotate 120 degrees and pump a proton across a membrane. Similarly, this motor can convert chemical fuel to motion with greater than 99% efficiency. In fact, it's so efficient you can push the proton back through the membrane and get the fuel back. So think of how we do recycling and how poorly that works for sustainability. We've heard some of the talks about that, right? If we take a plastic bottle, we have to separate the pieces. We put a tremendous amount of energy to go back, not quite to the starting products. In fact, you know, we usually make a park bench or a blanket or something else. We don't really get the molecules back, but it costs us a lot to do that recycling. Imagine if our fuels or the molecules we used in motors, for instance, could do something like uh, we see in biology. We think there are many, many other opportunities where we can take what nature is doing, take that perspective, and then learn to use lower power, learn to give greater control, and learn to add greater function uh, to the systems that we study and that we're able to fabricate and put in devices.